Hey guys, it's Zach from the Concon channel and in this video I'm going to show you where to get all 15 encryption bits so you can get the legendary Kavasta. Now these lost encryption bits are very important as this is actually a step that you need to do in order to unlock the exotic Kavasta. Now once you collect 15 lost encryption bits, they turn into a lost encryption code which helps you unlock the legendary Kavasta which you need in order to unlock the exotic Kavasta. Now there are only two ways in which you can get these lost encryption bits. Now the first way is by collecting all the golden chests in the Perlard region and the second way is by going into the Sis missions and looking for the hidden spots where you will find Shrieker remains that will give you lost encryption bits. The first chest that you're going to find is going to be located in the landing area so you can just spawn at this spawn point right over here. Once you're here you can then take your sparrow and you can follow my lead where I'm going. Just going to come through here past these guys and then you're going to come to where the shark is now you'll see that once you're in this area you'll see there's going to be a glowing shard you want to jump all the way to the glowing shard and then you're going to jump up and around and you'll see this ledger that you need to climb onto once you have climbed that ledge you just need to jump up here and you'll see that you'll be inside over here you'll see a little room to the back end of here and to your left you should see the chest and you can go ahead and open it right up now the second chest is also going to be found in the landing area and it is going to be located right over here. Once you spawn by the landing area spawn point you can then get your sparrow and then you can go ahead and just follow where I'm going. You'll see that just beneath this like crystal thing there's going to be a little hole you're going to come through here. Once you're inside you're then going to look down and you need to be careful because obviously you can fall and die but you're going to fall down onto the sledge and here is the chest. Now after collecting that chest you're going to make your way out the cave and you're going to follow exactly the way I do it and you're going to end up on this side which is just the head of this guy. You'll see that the enemies will be over here. What you want to do is you want to run past these two rocks and you're going to go all the way across onto this little circular platform. Once you're here you're then going to jump across and you're going to fall down over here. Once you fall down, you're going to fall down onto that platform and then onto this rock. Just be careful. And once you move ahead, you should see the chest right here and you can go ahead and open it right up. Now, the fourth chest that you're going to find is going to be located in the blooming area. So you can come to the spawn point. It's going to be located right here where this little symbol is. Once you spawn here, you can then make your way down this path just like I am. And you're going to take a right underneath this little cave opening. You're then going to head through the cave and head towards the back of the cave where you see the other exit and it's going to take you into the, like a different area. Once you're here you're just going to continue to the left past that hand and you'll see this little rock here. What you're going to do is climb up onto the rock and then you'll see there's going to be a slight ledge here and you can climb onto this rock and here is the chest. Now the fifth chest can also be found in the blooming area right by the spawn point and you can see with the symbol so there's two more chests we have left. The fifth one is going to be here. Once you spawn here you're going to go all the way to this tree that I just shot at and you're going to then start climbing the tree. So once you get right here to the tree you can then jump up onto the tree. Once you get to the top of the tree you're just going to jump up and I recommend landing on the actual chest because it's pretty easy to fall off. Now after getting the 5th chest, the 6th chest is going to be in this area right over there. So you can just start making your way ahead to that corner and you should see right next to this tree the chest is going to be right here. So the 7th chest is going to be found at the impasse area so you can just spawn here and the one we are going for is right here. Once you spawn by the impasse spawn point you're going to come to this area and you're going to look all the way to the back left and you'll see this little ditch down here. What you want to do is go towards this ditch and you're going to have to be careful because there's going to be a ledger that you need to take and then as you can see the chest is right here in the ditch. Now the ninth chest is also going to be found in the impasse area so you can just spawn here and we're going for this one right over there which is going to be located at the top as you can see there. So all you need to do is make your way to these white structures so you can just keep moving along past the enemies. Once you get past this white little box you're gonna start to see some faces here along this little pyramid looking thing and you're going to make your way up the faces just like this and then onto the top and then you can just come around to the right and the chest should be here 
Now the ninth and final chest is going to be found here at the bottom. So when you spawn by the impasse, you are going to go ahead over here and go across the little highway section. And you're just going to keep going straight and you're going to go in between the rocks right over here. So you can just keep moving forward and get past the enemies or kill the enemies, whichever you choose to do. But I'm just going to go ahead and go past them. Once you get past, you should see these hands and you're going to go through the middle here. And you'll see that to the left, there's going to be a little gap. You're going to go into that gap and you should see that when you get to the end of the tunnel, the chest is going to be here. Now, in order to get the lost encryption bits from the sys missions, you need to start the alone in the dark quest, which you get from Micah 10. Once you start, you need to progress these steps until you get the sys express step, which is when you'll start unlocking your sys missions where you can get those lost encryption bits from the Shrieker remains. Now the first one you're going to do is sword dance. Now I've cleared the area of all the enemies so I can show you just exactly where to go without being interrupted. So once you're in this area, the bird will take you to where I am and you're going to have to fight a few enemies in this room. But once you have the sword, you're going to progress through and start platforming through the area. Now there's going to be broken walls that you need to break through. So obviously I've broken through them so it's just straightforward. But you're going to go into this next area that has almost like multiple levels to the platforms what you want to do is go all the way to the bottom you'll see there's going to be an opening and once you get in there you're going to then take a left and you should see the shrieker remains right there for you to get your lost encryption bit now once you've gone through a few more steps of the alone in the dark quest the nexus mission you're going to get is searing light which you'll see this burning statue in the middle of the room. Once you defeat the boss, what you want to do is come to this area. This is just a reference point. So this is where the totem is in the middle and I'm taking a left and you're going to see this little purple room. What you want to do is go to that purple room and you're going to take a direct left. As you can see, there's a rock in the way, but when you get behind the rock, you should see the shrieker remains where you can get your last description bit. Now the nexus mission you're going to do is aerial ace now you will know when you're in the area when the floor is filled with lava and once you have completed this area and the mission before you leave what you want to do is you want to go to this under almost like hidden under area with a purple light what you want to do is jump all the way to that purple light and once you're there you're going to go ahead and jump across the lava to the other end and you're going to see there's going to be this light up ahead right here as you can see right over there but before you go there you're going to take a right and you should see this little cave opening you're going to go inside and the shrieker remains will be there for your last encryption bit now the next system mission that you're going to do is called moth infested cavern and you're going to see this huge like monument in the middle what you need to do is go all the way to the bottom and there's going to be these like little pockets like cave pockets and in one of them, you just need to hug the wall at the bottom. As you can see here, I'm hugging the wall and I'm going into the cave. You should find the Shrieker remains here and get the last encryption bit. The following sus mission that you're going to do is called Slayer. Now you'll need to defeat enemies to get this orb, which you'll then throw into the boss to break this shield. And you have to do this about three times. Obviously, there's three waves essentially to kill the boss. So once you defeat the boss, what you want to do is go to the middle of the room and face towards the rock formation right here. You're then going to do a 180 and turn around and you'll see the small room with a tree in the middle. Once you go to the tree to the left, you should see the shriek remains there and you can go ahead and collect your last encryption bit. Now the final cyst mission that you're going to do is called Smothering Darkness. Now I'm showing this part because it was quite difficult, but you pretty much you need to use these blight spawns to knock you into the next like areas because of the weight of darkness that is affecting your boost jump so once you get past the first one you need to climb on the second rock and then jump across onto this rock then you're going to move ahead and as you can see there's another blight spawn that's shooting up you need to then sit on this rock and you need to then go up onto the cliff once you're on top of the cliff you're going to see a slanted rock shooting towards the little pillar in the middle now you need to land on that platform this is really tricky so you need to just place yourself right but once you get onto that middle platform you can then shoot that blight that's all the way at the back of the area once you do that the boss will spawn and you can take him out and then you'll be able to go for your last encryption bit what you need to do is go to this area where the purple rock is slanted diagonally on the roof and you'll know you're in the right spot 
once you're there you're going to head straight forward and you're going to go through this little gap between the two cliffs you're then going to take a right and you should see the shrieker remains there to get your final encryption but that will then turn into a lost encryption code once you have the lost encryption code you need to then go back to the impasse and now you're going to get your legendary kavasta now it's going to show you exactly where to go and if not just follow this path but you're pretty much just gonna go all the way back it's a pretty straightforward path you're going to go all the way back until you see this golden chest once you get to the golden chest you can then unlock it and you should get the legendary kavastov and now you are one step closer to getting your exotic kavastov it's been zach from the concon channel i hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching